Hello antique fans and welcome to my channel for another antique related video. This is Deanna from Vintage Touch Antiques. Today I'm sitting in front of my May 2016 sold album that you'll find on my iAntique Online webpage. And I'm down here in this corner speaking to you today because it is time for what's been selling. Uh, I've been trying at the end of every month now to do a video for you that shows you my featured pieces that I have here on my web page that have sold for the month. So that this album will stay up for one month for viewing and then I'll take it down so that every month there will be the current album and the previous month's album of sold items. Again, these are only featured items and not all of my sales, but um, they are things that I've sold in my antique booth that's located in Antique Crossroads, Hagerstown, Maryland, along with some things that I have featured here that I've sold online in my online store. Now before we begin, you can find the link to my webpage and my online store in the description of the video, and I will put up the link to this album, but again, it will only be there for a month. So let's get started and see what I've sold this month, and hopefully, maybe you were one of my lucky buyers. Okay, starting with this piece. I sold this uh, white enamel ware granite coffee pot. It had the nice tin dome shaped lid and that piece sold for $29. This was an old skeleton. That's what they call that openness there in those kinds of reels. It's a fish, a fly fishing reel uh, made from in Japan, uh, sold for $13. The next item was a uh, advertising tin. It was a little rough, but still nice, unusual thing um, because it was for banjo strings, and it says the best Italian banjo strings on the lid, and that piece sold for $10. The next item was a trade card, very cute little Frank Miller's Crown Dressing. It was for some kind of a shoe polish dressing, advertising that back and front. And that little card with the adorable little child there uh, sold for $6. The next piece was a silver plated hand mirror that was very highly embossed. A nice um, I believe it was beveled uh, mirror. Great vanity piece, sold for $10. The next was an unusual piece. It was toothpicks, of all things. Um, they were all there. And this piece, um, it did have a patent date on the box bottom of March 24th, 1891. It was called World's Fair Polished uh, Wood Toothpicks. And that piece uh, sold for $7. The next piece was an early salt glazed stoneware pottery jug. This one was a 9 inch tall one, brown and white. That piece sold for $15. The next this was a beautiful women's lace J bow, is what they call them, or neck bib. It had the ruffled layers there, beautiful. Um, Ecru collar and delicate, and that piece sold for $15. The next was a chick feeder tin. It had the removable top there. It was uh, 16 inches in length. It had 16 holes. Cute piece, sold for $15. And this next piece, I just had to grab it because it was, uh, it's very primitive looking, a very small plate, little dish. I mean, that was three and three quarters by five inches. It was an iron stone, but it had a great, I love the modeling on it. And it had a great cheese motif on it. And that little piece sold for $6. 
The next was a Victorian copper luster transfer wear cream pitcher. It had a beautiful brown transfer wear there with a little bit of um, copper luster highlighting. And that piece sold for $10. The next item was another brown transfer wear piece. This was a toothbrush holder, kind of an ironstone trend with transfer wear. And that one sold for $12.50. I'm not sure. I don't think it was marked. The next piece was another. I've sold uh, a few of these lately. Uh, this was a color box. This was for storing your detachable, removable colors that the men and some women did. Uh, rather than change your entire Sure, they would change the colors and they had these studs or buttons as they called them and there was a little uh, place there that stored several and I, this came with collar buttons and the collar that I have a button there on the front of it and that whole thing with the leather faux leather uh, container was sold for $18. The next piece was one of these vintage um, suitcases had the leather edge trim there um, it was it had a clean pretty clean interior and mustard colored and that sold for $25 this was a beautiful turned wood mortar and pestle measuring five inches tall lovely wood there sold for $15 a uh, little USA pottery a flower pot in yellow I probably was a shiny piece um, was unmarked other than the USA but it has that same pattern that you see on shiny flower pots of the ones with the little saucer and that one sold for seven dollars the next was a straight razor this was Mooney blue steel straight razor and it came with uh, a case it had like a like a, a tortoise um, shell style handle there that sold for twelve dollars the next was this beautiful very delicate sheer voile infant dress this one was 26 inches long a beautiful piece sold for twenty nine dollars And the next two of these have sold. Actually, I still have two left, but I wanted to show those. Um, little section drawers. A couple were, had no sections um, with the little knobs on the front. A variety of uses for this type of item. And I do sell a lot of drawers, so I like to pick them up when I can get them. And these sold for $10 each. And this was a beautiful little uh, German framed red, wo red work is what they call that embroidery on linen. And it's in a beautiful antique crisscross frame. This piece is uh, had a German greeting there that um, means something like enjoy your meal. Great antique piece sold for $20. And I loved this little marbled uh, cover book. It was just a tiny book, just two inches by four and a half inches. It had a 1919 date in it, and the title of this was Betty Bad. It was about a little girl with bad behavior or bad habits, and that little piece sold for $10. And this was a wonderful little wood storage box with a little brass latch there on the front wonderful patina on this little flat box and it measured um, just um, I can't see there in my description but it was about nine inches or eight inches long and it sold for twelve dollars now this was a great piece this was a white sage and sulfur compound and this was a piece that was uh, used for um, it has the original label all the way around it and it was still very much intact except for just a little damage there 
Uh, but it was used to darken gray hair. So it was really a, a, a nice piece to get a hold of. And that piece was priced at $32. And this piece I did sell online, and this is a chapin, I believe is the way you pronounce that bug sprayer or duster. It had the amber glass reservoir, was in working condition, no odors. Uh, a lot of people use these just to um, mist with water on their plants as well as uh, what it was originally intended for. And this piece sold for $12. And this was a cute little coin purse. It was leather. It did have character wear here on the front. And it was brown on the other side, black on that side. And that one went for $6. And I sell quite a few of these old textile, like fabric, uh, textile factory uh, wood spools that, used, that were used for threads and twines and things. And this one was unusual because it was real squatty with the large ends to it. Um, the, the ends measured six inches in diameter and it was only three and three quarter inches tall and that one sold for eight dollars. And this was a beautiful or early Raleigh's talcum baby powder advertising tin with the baby there on the front. It had the baby on the front and the back with the twist top dispense cap, and that piece sold for $12. And then this was another wood, uh, very small mortar and pestle, just the cutest thing. Um, turned wood there, just measuring four inches uh, long on the pestle, three and a half inches tall on the mortar, and that one sold for $17. And then this was an early Runkle Brothers breakfast cocoa advertising tin. Has a great look with the tin screw on top. And that one sold for $10. And a wonderful show and hot circus clown. Uh, the jointed little clown with the uh, open hands there that so he can be positioned. The price on that one was $65. And this was a nice wire, unusual flower frog that had the wire domed shape there to it. Nice graphic appeal to it, $12. And that takes us back to the beginning. So that's what's sold as from my featured items that I had here on my webpage for the month of May 2016. And I will now start adding sold items that have appeared here on my page that will be selling in June next. And this album will stay up, like I said, for a month. So if you'd like to check back and read the description and refer back to it, you can. Before I end, I'd like to um, remind you or invite you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you like this type of video, you like antique videos, please give this one a thumbs up and share. And it would be so helpful to me and hopefully encouraging and helpful to others. And enjoy your antiques. And like I always say, when you own an antique, you own a piece of history. So bye-bye.